now go to immediately go to Port Harcourt and see Dr. Joseph Obele uh, is now standing by for us. Uh, Dr. Obele, I hope you can hear me now. I can hear you loud and clear. Yes, so what is your reaction to this new prize of petrol uh, as we speak? How will you react to it? Okay, I must start by saying the increment of uh, fuel pr price, uh, call it PMS, as it, uh, it was occasioned yesterday by NPC Limited, uh, I will stay, it is e timing, it is uh, outrageous, and uh, it is detrimental. And uh, only who I will blame is the weakness of the Nigeria Labour Congress. Uh, previous leadership of Nigeria Labour Congress, we've not seen it in this dimension, calling it an increment of fuel uh, price within this year, 2004, in three occasions. This is the third time within this year that Nigerians have experienced increment of, on fuel price. And I must say, it is really outrageous and it's coming at the wrong time. Why did I say this is the wrong time? What Nigeria people are passing through right now as it concerns on total trip and the outrageous cost of commodities in the market, I think this is the wrong time for us to further increase fuel price. And this increase on fuel price PMS, as it has been announced yesterday, and it's obvious on the portal, the petroleum marketers will have a portal called NPC Express Buying Portal, where marketers are the, in the comfort of our home. We usually book for petroleum products, causing the innovation of Mr. Hope. Stockman, the new MD of NNPC Retail Management, and we really appreciate him for the innovation. So at the comfort of our home, we usually book for product. So this is obvious on the platform. It is obvious as NNPC Retail filling stations have adjusted price likewise. But I'm saying to the population of Nigeria, the good people of Nigeria, it is coming at the wrong time. Because products in the market are, are really on the high side, uh, are following the ugly or biting inflation of Nigeria. The inflation of Nigeria index, as, as it stands right now, is over 33 percent and above. And I was shocked about three weeks ago when the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics did mention that Nigeria inflation was getting down. And I, I was worried by the template of the yardstick or the parameter they used in doing that analysis to ascertain that Nigeria inflation was going to... I have an issue with that. And uh, I don't know to you, the, my presenter, if the market where you usually buy your bread or other food items, if the price of commodities are really going down. So I have an issue. And uh, I want to fought Nigeria Bureau of Statistics regarding that analysis did a um, few weeks ago that Nigeria inflation index is really dropping. I want to say, no, it's not true. Nigeria inflation, instead of going down, I think it's rising. So regarding the fair price, as uh, we have seen it yesterday, uh, it's quite unfortunate. And to me, all the blame goes to the weakness of this tootlet book does called the present leadership of Nigeria Labour Congress. The labor, con labor movement has actually reacted to this, uh, saying they want a reversal. But that wouldn't be my next question. My question to you would be, you know what is happening with regards to price. You are a player in this industry. And now the NNPC seems to be pulling out and saying, let market forces um, drive the market. Don't you think that the refinery, that's the Dangote refinery, could come up to Nigerians and tell us, how much really a liter of fuel costs from their refinery? Don't you think that would clear the air in one way? Okay, to, to me as a person, from my observation and from my analysis, I want to state and let it be on record that this may not really be the last increment to this product called Premium Motor Spirit PMS. I think the next few three months, Nigerians will see another increment. The Mr. President, being a father to the nation, I think he's taking it gradually as a consigned uh, sequential approach to increment on fair price. But uh, I think it's e timing. That's all what I have to say. Because what Nigerians are passing through people are, are finding it difficult to feed in their houses people are, the number of uh, out of school children in nigeria is increasing every day and as at this hour further increment to pms the next few days nigerians will see further increment on all commodities in nigeria market i think it's outrageous it is painful and it's hurting on nigeria people and i think uh, uh, as a person i uh, should blame the leadership of nigeria congress nigeria labor congress for the second time well, indeed. Now, let's look at um, the crude for Naira deal. 
uh, because many also say this might also give us a headway. I, what, what do you also understand of that or around that? Because many say it's just to ease the pressure on the cross effects that we don't have at the moment. Do you think that can help in any way? Okay, let me start by commending Mr. President for that innovation, for that policy, the crude for Naira. And uh, I want to say that uh, Mr. President have taken the bold step as this will dismantle our uh, long-time reliance and dependence on the international market, this market where we usually import our refined petroleum product. So Dangote uh, uh, refinery with a capacity of $650,020 billion refinery, uh, having a capacity of 650000 and NFTC have agreed with Dangote to be supplying a stock of 400,000 barrels per day as against the 600,000 barrels per day. And this put it to 61%, where Dangote will further source from the international market about 39% of the stock Require. This uh, 61 percent as Dan Gute will be sourcing, which is 400,000 barrels per day, put it at seven uh, 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 barrels of uh, crude oil at 77 or 78 uh, naira per uh, dollars per barrel. That invariably Nigeria government will be saving uh, 10 billion dollars every year, and this will further help us as to reduce the pressure on uh, on the dollar. Uh, for in the foreign exchange market, the, the pressure on dollars has really uh, affected the exchange rate. Today is about 1,600 or so. But with this uh, development as a sign, by given a note to by Mr. President, I think the next few days we see dollar crash below 1,000 naira. It is obvious. So I want to say kudos as to commend Mr. President for that innovation. Following that, I see a situation where PMS, as is uh, currently selling, above 1,000 naira per liter. It will be selling less than 700 naira per liter when this uh, dollar for uh, naira, crude oil for uh, naira commences uh, in uh, earnest. NPC would not be the sole off-taker of products from the Dangote refinery. That seems to be clear. Now, marketers like you, do you think that, that this entire downstream space will be attractive for you to get into business now because many of you have not been able to get products in a while okay I, I, at the moment the challenges the challenge that petroleum marketers will be having the next few days i think this will see over 10,000 marketers quit business reason arising from the fact that early last year it cost us about five to seven million naira to buy a truck of petroleum products worth 45,000 liters. But at the moment, the, you, you, you may trust us to know that it cost 47.2 million naira to buy a truck of uh, PMS, which is uh, the capacity of uh, 45,000 liters. But early last year, same capacity that we are buying over 47 million naira today, we were buying it less than 7 million naira early last year. Yeah, invariably, a lot of petroleum marketers will be out of business. So from analysis as permutated yesterday, over 10,000 petroleum marketers will quit business, will be out of business for the inability to raise this 47 million naira to buy a truck that ordinarily they were buying less than 7 million naira earlier before now. Then these 10,000 marketers that will be out of business, they will sack or will experience redundancy close to 1 million staff strength directly and indirectly one million persons will be out of uh, workplace too. I think uh, the policy, the inc further increment of PMS, as it was uh, uh, occasion yesterday, is e timing, is outrageous, and is detrimental to the citizens of Nigeria. Mm. Well, the, this uh, let us let us not forget. It is our conversation that there are issues with global oil price dynamics. And you see what is happening in the Middle East. And that is affecting the price of crude oil. If the price of crude goes higher, it will affect the price of PMS. Because you just said in a few months, we could see a decline. Can you make us understand that? I guess Dr. Billy can't hear me anymore. Dr. Billy, are you there? I can hear you now. Okay, I was asking you about geopolitical dynamics. Do you think it will affect the price of crude? 
No, basically, the Nigeria PMS market is a market we describe in the marketing environment as the factors of the external market. And for, uh, the external market are uncontrollable variables. So arising from the aggression of uh, Russia against Ukraine and recently Israel against Gaza and Israel against Lebanon, I think we see more external uncontrollable factors that will further worsen the price of uh, PMS in the Nigeria market. Until Nigeria starts refining locally, we we'll, we'll keep seeing this fluctuation and this instability as it concerns the downstream sector of the oil and gas. Well, indeed, I, I must let you go. It's been a nice conversation. I thank you for your patience. Uh, Dr. Joseph Obele is a former chairman of Ipman River State and an energy market expert. Thank you so much. Hope to have you on the program again. Thank you for having me. Greetings here from River State. We are greeting you to hear from Lagos State. I must thank you so much. Well, a lot of discussions around the new price of fuel. We will stay on it and um, examine different angles of it, how it affects Nigerians, businesses, the marketers, the players in the industry, everyone, every aspect of it will keep uh, discussing moving on. And let's take